Welcome to Cloud C Yoga. I'm Cloud. Today, let's have a gentle stretching for neck and shoulders. You may need a set of blocks and a yoga strap. You can replace them with thick books and towel. Now, let's begin the practice. To begin the practice, get your yoga block and sit on top of it. Sitting cross-legged. Stay comfortable with the posture. Now let's begin the practice with a short centering exercise. Simply close your eyes and bring your awareness towards your breathing. Slowly breathing in and slowly breathing out. Bring awareness to your breath and on each exhalation, start to relax your muscles. Relax the muscles from your legs, your arms, your upper body. And also try to relax all your facial muscles. Staying here in the posture, gently breathe in and gently breathe out. You're getting deeper and deeper in each exhalation. Before we relax the physical muscle, we start to relax our mind. Breath in and breath out. For five more seconds in this moment of peacefulness. Now bring your right hand next to your left ears. Slowly pull your head towards the right side. Drop your right ear towards the right shoulder. From here, you can feel the stretching from the left side of your neck. Slowly breathing in and slowly breathing out. On each exhalation, creating more space around the left side of your shoulders and your neck. Now slowly back to the neutral position. Rest your right palm on your knee. To the other side. Your left palm on your right ear. Drop your head towards the left side. Feeling the space opening at the right side of your neck and your shoulders. Slowly breathing in and slowly breathing out. You may close your eyes to have deeper connection between your body and yourself. Relax your body, then relax your mind. And when you relax your mind, your body also follows. Now back to the neutral position. Moving to the next posture, the cow face arm. Bring your right shoulder on top and left arms underneath. Try to bring your palms together and hold it. Or you can link your palms with your yoga strap or towel. Close your eyes here to feel the stretching sensation. Some people may experience more at the right upper arm and some people may experience more from the left arms. Close your eyes and recreate that deep connection between you and your body. Now slowly release the post. Taking a moment here. Then switch to the other side. 
with your left arms on top and right arm beneath that. Again, hold your palms together or get some help with your yoga strap. Taking a moment here to feel the other side. You probably may experience completely different from the left side and the right side. The whole idea here is not to judge your body whether one side is better or the other side is not as good. Instead, from here, we're trying to understand our body more trying to find the imbalance within us and the imbalance that we've built around our body. Through this understanding, we can bring the balance back. Now release the post. Feel the sensation. Feel the blood flow. Moving on towards the next posture. Bring your block aside and move into tabletop position with your arms on top of your wrists, your hips on top of your knees. Spread your fingers wide. From here, drop your belly, head up, inhale, and exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Inhale, drop the belly, head up, open your shoulder, head up, open your neck. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Press against the floor, create a round shape opening at the back body. Inhale, drop your belly, head up, open up, open your throat. All the way, find a deep opening. Exhale, round your back, chin to chest. Press against the floor. Inhale, back to neutral spine. Now walk your palms forward. Rest your forehead on the floor. Feel the opening at your shoulders. If you are more open and you can find more space, you can also rest your chin on the floor. For some of you, you may also be able to rest your chest on the floor. Wherever you are, it doesn't really matter on how deep your posture shows to other people, but how you feel about opening the inner space within you. The space that unlock all the tightness within you. To gently reconnect with yourself in this practice in here. From here, Slowly bring your body up, lie down on the floor, keep your elbows down, inhale, open up, and stay here for a short while in a sphinx pose. Feel the gentle opening at the upper body. If there's no tension at your lower back, you may also straighten your arms a little bit. Move your body left and right to release the tension at your spine into the cobra pose. If possible, keep your elbows slightly bent. Turn yourself, looking to the left side. Back to neutral, then look to the right side. Create more movement around our spine and unstuck everything. Now tuck your toes under. Push your hips up towards the ceiling into the downward facing dog. Stay here for a moment. Feel your downward facing dog. You can bend your knees if you need to. Find a full extension on the upper body. Allow your upper body to open, creating more space at your shoulder, your neck, and your scapula. Stay here for steady breathing. Now from here, bring your feet together. Then extend the right leg up to the ceiling for the three-legged dog. The leg on the floor, you can keep the knee bent. And if you can find more space, you can slowly bend the right leg up for three-legged dog with hip opening. 
Stay in here for a while. Do not push yourself. Now bring the right leg back. Switch the other side. Bring the left leg up. Stay in the three legged dog, or you can open your left leg for a flip dog. Again, stay here for a while. Feel the breathing in here. Now bring the left leg down, back to the downward facing dog. From here, gaze forward. Then walk to the center of the mat and sit all the way down. Let's work on the closing sequence. Shake the tensions out. For the next posture, please get one yoga block ready. Put it at the back of your hips. Now bring the right leg in and hug your right leg with your left hand. Wrap around it. Straighten your spine and bring your right palm on the block. From here, on your inhalation, straighten your spine. On your exhalation, turn a little bit more to the right side. Give your body a gentle twisting in here. Stay here with gentle breathing in and gentle breathing out. On each exhalation, you are finding more space in every spinal column, and you're also releasing the tension. Now slowly coming back to the center. Drop your right knee down. Slightly bend your left leg in. Inhale, straighten your spine. Exhale, lean forward with your left belly on your left thigh. From here, you may straighten your left leg a little bit more if you can keep your belly touching the thigh. If not, kindly keep your left leg bent because with your thigh touching your belly, it maximizes the stretching. Stay here for a moment to feel the stretching sensation. For some of you, you may feel the stretching from the hamstring, hips, and also your left lower back. Focus on the stretching sensation. Now inhale, bring your head up. Slowly come up to a straight back. Release your right leg. Shake the tensions out. Now let's work on the other side. Bring your left leg in. Let's work on the twisting to the other side. Again, you can wrap. Your left leg with your right arm, left hand to the back, and turn to the back. On your inhalation, lengthen your spine. On your exhalation, turn and find space. When you're stretching your muscle in a twisting way, it's almost like you are twisting a towel. Imagine your back is like a towel. You want to find more. Space and range of motion by slowly twisting it. Now inhale, come back to center. Exhale, release. Drop your left knee on the floor. Then bend the right leg in. Inhale. Exhale all the way forward with your belly touching your thigh. Staying here for a moment. If you want to straighten your leg, make sure you're keeping your thigh touching your belly, and lengthen through your lower back, to the middle back, upper back, even your neck area. Do not strain yourself by pushing yourself all the way forward to the pose. Feel the stretching sensation here on the right side. You may experience. Complete different between your left side and the right side. It's always interesting to find out that our legs on the left side and right side can feel completely different when doing the same yoga pose. Now slowly coming up, back to the sitting pose. Then release your left leg. 
Shake out tension. Let's put the block aside and shake out tension. Slowly turn to the right side. Bring your palms on the floor. Bend elbow for a gentle twisting. Do not force yourself. You may hear some cracking. Slowly come back to neutral. Then twist to the other side. Again, just a gentle twisting. Do not go too far and push too hard. Come back to center. A final forward bending in here. Slowly go all the way forward into your forward bend. If you want to learn more about the forward bend alignment, this is another tutorial I have on YouTube on forward bending. Slowly coming up and lying down. Let's complete the practice with a short time of shavasana. Open your arms, palms facing up, legs slightly open, toes point outward. Now close your eyes and take a moment just to feel your body. Slowly breathing in and slowly breathing out. Feel the deep relaxation all around your body. You are now in complete relaxation. Slowly breathing in and slowly breathing out. You can continue to stay here for as long as you wish. Or you can resume your daily activity after you feel like you're ready. If you find this practice helpful for you, please do share this practice to more people in need. Together, we can make the world a better place. And if you are interested in taking my in-person or online yoga class, you can also click the link in the description box where you can register for the latest class information. I'll send over the class schedule for those who are interested. Let's practice together in a more interactive way. See you maybe.